Welcome back to the Gaw House. I am still continuing my mermaid celebration and the unboxing of my live action Little Mermaid merchandise. So in this video, I am going to unbox these miniature sets that I purchased. I believe there are three of these available online or three of them available. This is the seven sister pack. And this is the Ultimate Land and Sea Pack that I purchased at Target. I purchased this at Walmart for about $34. I think it was like $33.99. And this one was the Target exclusive for about $45. So I purchased these two so I could have a little bit of everyone. There's a Land Pack available, but it did not can include Vanessa. So that's what made me purchase this one. Purchasing these two, I have duplicates now of Ariel and Tamika that are also here. Ariel and Tamika. But let's unbox them. I do want to keep these boxes kind of nice because I feel like I can take them out and still place them back for storage because I'm goofy. I will lose these little pieces. So I'm going to keep my package together as much as I can. So here they are. Here are the sisters without the reflection in the packaging. And here is the back of the box with the beautiful girls. Here's Karina and Ariel. Ariel has a bended arm here. It does not articulate at the elbows, but it does at the shoulders. Her, their heads are movable, and they can bend at their waist. And there's no tell details on the back. They're kind of transparent, a little flexible, but totally cute. The faces are very detailed. Even looking at the sets at the stores, I couldn't find any that had flaws to my eyes. I think these sets are very well made. Here's Karina. She has her high pony with her pink hair and her swoop, her swoops bang. Her top is a lot more accurate here than in the doll, the seven pack set, but this is a lot easier to decorate and be more accurate uh, than the doll version. So, but here's her fin and her fin is very similar to Perla's and Mala's. Like they have the same design but different paintings and I believe Caspia does too like these four have the same tail fin sculpt Ariel Tamika and Mala I'm sorry Aria Tamika in India have the most unique individualized fins, but they all have lovely face paints that are unique to their designs. And they resemble the actresses very well. It's Perla. And now I can see better that fishtail braid in the back. And her hair is black and teal, but here it's just a solid navy blue. And her tops and bottoms are printed on. Her arm is bent and she has the same articulation as the other girls. She also bends at the waist. Here is Mala with her pink crown design. She has dark hair and her hair swoops in the back. Here's what the back of her hair looks like. It's just waving in the water. Her face is super sweet and accurate to the actress. And there's her tail fin. She just looks like a sunset to me. She looks like ice cream. Like, I could eat her off. She's so cute. Here is Caspia. And her hair is flowing in the waves as well. With her arms. And her waist design. And she has, like, little blue splotches on her neckline. Like, like fin designs or something. Here's Indira, close up with her hair. They're all so unique. Just 
Tamika again with her fiery design. That's just such a beautiful color scheme. And her just gorgeous hair. <laughs> and Ariel with her hair, her auburn red locks in the water. So gorgeous. I cannot wait for this movie. I was born for this. So that is the seven sister pack. I'm going to also open this pack now. I want to show you that I was able to easily pop the girls back into their packaging. This is not for resale purposing. This is just for me to have them together in my collection until I'm ready to properly display them. Here they are in the packaging without the reflection interfering with your viewing. And here is the back of the box. On a little mermaid reimagines the beloved story of Ariel, a curious mermaid who longs to experience life on land and finds herself on an unexpected journey of self-discovery. And that's everyone in the set. Let's start with the sea, because Ariel came from the water, and then she got up on the land, so let's start on the sea. So we've already seen Tamika from the Seven Sister Pack. So here's our duplicate, and she is very similar, if not exactly the same. And Ariel is included as well. We have two versions of Ariel in this set. This is the same one as the Seven Sister Pack, but this version has a cute little necklace that Ariel probably found on one of her undersea, underwater adventures. Flounder and Sebastian are included in this set. I do not appreciate the backlash that Flounder has been receiving. I think he's adorable. And here is Sebastian. <laughs> here is Miss Ursula. She has a very, uh, the same expression that the um, Ursula doll has. And she has very little articulation. She does not have any neck articulation. But her arms do move. And this back area looks as if it should be articulated. But she is not able to move from this joint either. And here's the bottom of her set. And there's a plug there as if she could stand up on another set. Here is King Triton with his trident. And there's his face. They made King Triton a little young, didn't they? Made him too fine, too fine. He too sexy. <laughs> his head does not move. But he has a lot of details, like this doll is very grand, or this figure is very grand. He has his crown, he has his molded hair, and he has his armature placed all over his body. He is not very well articulated. He can move his arms a little bit, but not much. Or at least mine, or maybe I'm afraid to break it. But he's a little stiff, but he's very detailed and, and just regal. Here's the bottom of his fan where I was holding and he does bend at the waist and his trident here can fit into his hand. Yep, he grabbed right onto that. Like, girl, give me my trident. He, he didn't. He just grabbed right onto it. Now we're going to the land and we're going to start with our girl Ariel because she's the star of the show and she's in her blue um, t kingdom tour dress. And she has her auburn locks. I wonder, does she have the same? Here's her undersea version and her land version. Her head does move. Does her hair look the same in the back? Yeah, this is a different mold. See? Her hair, hair is a little bit more laid on land. And it's more in a waving motion while she's under the sea. She has her blue ruffled top molded on, and this skirt here is removable. And she has her little underwear there as well, so I'm not exposing her too much. But I just thought that it was adorable that the dresses are removable, and it gives it some nice texture for play. And we can switch her dress up with, Van with Vanessa's. And she has those nice pretty pink boots that are featured in the film, unlike the uh, doll version where she has sandals. 
here's Scuttle. And Max. And Max will never be too far from Prince Eric, who is very handsome. I really appreciate this actor for taking up the role. His head doesn't turn. His head does not turn. His head does not move. So how is he going to look at Ariel? Why don't his head move? Okay. His head does not move. But his arms do. And his legs. And he has his black boots. And he also has little areas in his feet to where he can plug into one of the play sets. There is one play set that's available that I've seen. Let me grab it. That, that I have that I'm not ready to unbox yet. I feel like there are going to be more sets like this because this is a story time stacker. And it looks like it has joints here to plug into other sets. So I think a land set will be available as well. So I'm holding off on opening this for when I can attach it to the land set. And on the back of the box... You can see the items that are featured. There's, um, I don't think it includes all of this, but like it doesn't include the other characters. You have to buy an additional set for that. But Ariel is included. And there's a slide, a ch um, trinket thingamabobs here, a treasure chest, a candelabra here, and the dancing figurine there. I am waiting for more stackables and there's even instructions here like, hey, stack it up. I'm like, where's the other pieces? I have to be patient. We have to be patient. And here is Vanessa. I almost forgot about Vanessa. Here is our girl, Vanessa. These face molds are so great and accurate. I just love this set. These sets are so amazing. And hopefully her head moves. It does. And she has this long, beautiful flowing hair in the back with her curls draping. She has her top as well, which looks very similar to Ariel's. But they're not the same. I thought they were. But they're really close. With the pleated sleeves. Like, with the puff sleeves. But Vanessa's skirt has a metallic shimmer. And this skirt is removable as well. Vanessa is not wearing her seashell necklace, but she is wearing some black heels. And her feet are plugged. Does have that area for standing as well when we get those other sets. I want a castle or at least a boat. Okay, I'll be wait. I'll be wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait and see what we got. <laughs> I was able to successfully pop them back in and they look good like they've never been out. It's a lot easier to put them back in the packaging than get them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. That wraps up the unboxing of the petite figurines. I hope this helped you with your doll hunting and with your selections in the future. My name is Jessica. This is the dollhouse and I have so much more to show you. I hope you enjoy Mermaid. Please like, follow, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.